And I'd like to introduce Rob Bonniger, who is the Director of Technology for Global Automotive and Manufacturing for Amazon Web Services. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, really excited to be here. Uh, thank you to Durga, for Ina, um, Qualcomm, the entire team. Um, wasn't it awesome yesterday that the entire day yesterday was really focused on automotive? So just really a shout out to the presenters and, uh, and the content yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. AWS, at AWS, we're excited about the innovation our customers are driving across industries using AI. It's amazing to see just what's happened it's just in the last 24 months around AI and Gen AI and the innovation we're seeing with our customers uh, and the transformations we're seeing in the industry. In the fields of automotive med and edge solutions, automakers are looking for new ways to personalize the driving experience, improve automated driving features, and deliver predictive maintenance notifications. Um, our customers are also thinking about this from, from an IoT perspective as well and how they're bringing automation into the shop floor um, onto, diff onto you know, tons and tons of devices. Our customers want to use AI at the edge now to enhance these experiences with custom solutions built on top of powerful models. Uh, three things I really want to talk about here today. Uh, first, I'm going to talk a little bit about AI and, and how we see AI really evolving uh, at Amazon with our customers. I want to spend a couple of minutes uh, and talk about what we've done uh, in the past and how we've actually collaborated with Qualcomm in the past. And then we'll talk a little about the future and where we see this collaboration continuing as we continue to evolve uh, around AI in the future. So let's talk about what we've done together so far. Um, we've worked close, closely with Qualcomm in the past to streamline the vehicle software development process for leading automakers like the BMW Group. For example, we work with Qualcomm BMW to co-develop a next generation driving, automated driving system uh, based on a Snapdragon ride platform in a cloud native software development environment. Think about what that means. That means BMW's developers now are able to um, build their software applications in a cloud native environment and then bring that to the vehicle. It's helped BMW, it's helped a number of our customers help speed up that development process um, as well as continue to drive new innovation and just think of new ways to bring those capabilities and features uh, to their customers. So we've collaborated on this uh, in the past. We want to continue this collaboration going forward. Let's talk about the developer. And I mentioned this a little bit already, that we're really focused on how we help those developers at our customers, whether it's an automaker, whether it's a manufacturer, industrial manufacturer. We really want to help those developers bring new solutions to markets. Um, as the AI landscape evolves, these demands on the developers are changing over and over. Um, they want to deliver richer experiences, and those demands have really grown. We know AI models running in the cloud offer incredible capabilities for training and inference. And there's exciting use cases for the edge, like smartphones and vehicles. And we see this connection between what we build in the cloud and the edge as critical to our customers' success going forward. To truly harness these capabilities, developers need guidance now to help these cloud solutions working, running on AWS for model development customization and, and then extend that to the edge without friction. How can we take these models that we build, develop, and train in the cloud and now bring these to different edge devices? And our developers want to be able to do that very quickly, very easily, with very little friction. There's a huge need today to enable these developers to seamlessly deploy these end-to-end -end AI solutions for business use cases. And that's probably one of the biggest evolutions I've seen just in the last 12 months, is our customers have now looked at numerous Gen AI solutions. I have literally probably hundreds of use cases of different Gen AI solutions, and now our customers are looking at which of those use cases, which of those solutions make business sense. And what we're seeing here is um, the choice of models, um, the choice of using uh, different applications, the, 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 use, the use of different deployment models, our customers want choice. They want to be able to provide more flexibility to their developers, more choice to their consumers, and newer experiences to their end users. So at AWS, we really help empower the world's leading organizations to innovate using AI, ML, and Gen AI services. So what that means, we have a long history of AI and machine learning 
Um, we've been using AI machine learning uh, on Amazon.com. We've been using AI uh, within the automotive manufacturing industry for applications um, around uh, automated driving, around shop floor automation. So we continue to move these applications. And, we, and now we're seeing those applications really evolve with generative AI, really taking that big leap forward. The way we do this is a number of, uh, of, of services that we have at AWS, and one of them I, I want to talk about here today is Amazon SageMaker. And we'll talk about the connection between SageMaker and AI Hub in a second. But SageMaker is our fully managed machine learning service that builds, trains, and deploys machine learning models, including foundational models. And those foundational models are so critical, um, and you've heard a lot about foundational models this morning already, so critical in a Gen AI environment, they're a cornerstone. In addition, now customers want to be able to train these models, but they also want to fine tune these models. They want to fine tune them in the cloud and then bring them to the edge. What I'm really excited to talk about going forward is how AWS and Qualcomm are now combining the strengths of Amazon SageMaker with Qualcomm's AI Hub to deploy AI on billions of edge devices. So Qualcomm, uh, Qualcomm AI Hub will now provide you easy to adopt solutions that utilize a AWS for model building and customization before you deploy it to the edge. By combining this expertise from AI, this AI expertise from AWS with Qualcomm's leadership in on-device AI, developers can now create smarter and more personalized experiences. I'm really excited about this collaboration going forward and really excited um, to work with the Qualcomm team. Let me dive a little bit deeper here. So what does this mean for our developers? What does, it, what does it really mean? It means they can use Amazon SageMaker to build and fine tune these models, deploy those models in a Qualcomm powered device. It's, it's now as simple as connecting to the Qualcomm hub. This streamlined process is designed to allow developers to optimize, validate, and deploy their AI models in minutes using fewer than five lines of code. Just think about how impactful it is now. We can take and build these models, we can fine tune them in the cloud, connect them to the um, AI hub, and now deploy them with less than five lines of code uh, out to our customers, out to those edge devices. Whether it's for mobile, automotive, IoT, the scale of the Qualcomm power devices makes integration a game changer for deploying AI at the edge. Qualcomm is also providing developers with easy to follow code samples to demonstrate how to deploy these powerful vision and language models. We've talked a lot about, in, in previous sessions, we've, we've talked a lot about these multimodal models. We continue to see that really evolving in the market. This makes the developer's job easier and faster, and they can now fine tune these models and deploy them on devices powered by, by Qualcomm. I'm very excited for our customers. This is all detailed in the blog that we just posted last Friday. I encourage you all to take a look at it. Very exciting. And just to close here, I really want to thank you all for the invitation to speak. Really excited about our collaboration going forward and look forward to the rest of the conference. Thank you.